Um, and I moved to the States for college. I was 18 years old, and then I've been here since then. I Actually, I was born in Texas. Um, you, um, my family is half in the States and half in Mexico, so me being born in Texas was one of my parents trying to live in America, and they didn't, they didn't really like it, went back, grew up my whole life in Mexico, and then I decided for college, you know what? I'm going to do college in the States. I didn't think I was going to stay. I thought I was going to come to college and then go back to, to Mexico, you know, because, yeah, that's that's what I thought. <laughs> and once I was here, the opportunities, again, it's always about this door that opens. Mm-hmm. And I am always just have to go for it. You know, I feel like if I don't, it's just kind of like, it's just silly if I don't. So after college, I got an opportunity to work in marketing and I took that opportunity and I just kept going and just doing what I'm doing now, basically. Well, and here you are. And and what do you remember? What are some of your, your, what do you miss about Mexico, if anything? It's interesting. I used to miss everything, right? Like food and people and my neighbors and the weather and just about anything. And then now that I'm here, it's, I really don't miss anything anymore. Honestly, I, when I go back to visit, it's just, it feels like I, I'm not from there. It's really weird. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Do you, do yeah. you have, and you have, I, I assume you still have family over there, right? Yeah, I do. And and when I'm there, it's like, it feels like I was never meant to be there. It's weird. Mm-hmm. I just, yeah, it feels off. Um, yeah. Where here in New York, I feel like at home. Like mm-hmm. I'm walking, the, yeah, when I walk the streets in New York, when I'm like buying groceries, when I go to my little bodega and get like, you know, drinks for friends or whatever it is, it's just, it feels so right. It feels the way it's supposed to be. Oh, that's that's a good feeling, you know. It's good to feel to love where you are and feel at home. Yeah, that's a big thing, you know. And I think people yes. need to need to go for that. If you are not, if you think you're happy, just keep traveling and trying new places. You may be surprised and be happier somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. And that that's I think I guess one of my I've always loved, you know. I love adventure and traveling and but and then it's always I'm a little bit of a homebody too so it's a mix but it's always nice to get out of town for a little bit and then but it's always nice to come home and it's nice to be glad that you have a nice home a place you like to live you know and that's 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 important kind of one of basic basic nice nice things about life right right and you know what the one thing about that is that before living in New York I never wanted to come home like, I will mm-hmm. go somewhere and I'm like, oh, I can be here forever. Like, it, it yeah. can be anywhere in the world. And I never wanted to come back home. I love my home. I thought it was, like, a nice place to live. You know, it was comfortable, whatever. But I never wanted to come home. And now that I live in New York, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Isn't that something? You you definitely found your place. Well, gosh. Right. So, we, we're going This time always goes by so so quick so let's let's go back to new york city i know that when um i'm so thankful that macy's did did do something you know i know it wasn't the the parade that we're used to but they at least did some things that's one of my big that's to me thanksgiving is spending all morning like a lump on the couch with my coffee and my cats while my husband's prepping and cooking in the kitchen i'm watching the macy's (laughs) parade and you know and they had those beautiful i think it was nbc but they had those beautiful aerial shots of central park and oh i was so you know would love to be there so so bring us there where bring us to your world and i day and and you know if it especially maybe that we have some listeners out there who are for who've never been to new york city when they're able when they feel like they can come and, and travel and visit where do you think they should where do you suggest they should visit what should they do well, I think the best part about New York City is that you can just walk, right, anywhere. Mm-hmm. And I would suggest to, to really do a, a big walk. Go all the way from Central Park all the way down to the Financial District. Why not? It's like, what, yeah. six, seven miles? Yeah, go oh, do, and that way you will see a ton. We are doing that now. Like a lot of New Yorkers are doing that just for like a workout and because it's so empty, uh-huh. you can actually do it. 
But yeah, I will say just walk, walk everywhere. I mean, right now, if you're coming during the holidays, it's the best time. The holidays is just, it's just beautiful. Um, but Saks uh, has a Christmas show in front of the Rockefeller Center, and it's all free. You know, and just just watch the lights go on, and it's just beautiful, and it's music. I I cry over this kind of stuff. So, <laughs> I mean, also the any parade in New York City, yeah. I love. Um, what I, like the Thanksgiving parade? It was gorgeous. It was just the way it's supposed to be. I loved it. Uh, anything, honestly, that you do here is going to always be fun. Eating, oh my God, the food yeah. here. <laughs> It's delicious. Yeah, gosh, I do you have a do you have a favorite restaurant or there's just so many things. There's I mean, you have so many things there. I honestly have so many restaurants, but I love Asian food like mm-hmm. anywhere from like you can go Chinese style from Thai, anywhere because the food from Asia here is the best. It's just the best that you will have anywhere in America, for sure. It's just delicious anywhere, any restaurant. It doesn't matter, honestly. I have never gone to a restaurant and having bad food here. Like, I mean, I don't go to Chipotle or like McDonald's or anything like that. Uh (laughs) Yeah, I don't blame you. (laughs) But yeah, if you go to a restaurant from here, that is not a shame. It will be delicious for sure. Okay, and you are, and you guys are, I think you shared with me, you're more in the southern, you're kind of, are you in the financial district, or kind yeah. of? Yeah, that's, yeah, yes, I'm in the financial district, it's empty, it's beautiful. <laughs> so, have people really left the city? I mean, is it really, has it really cleared out? Like, like, I don't know really what to believe when I read things, so is it really, what is it really like right now? I think people would be curious. Yeah, it is empty. Uh, I know that I don't, I mean, I don't want to be like that person that is being negative about what's yeah. happening. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just, I, I will say that is, we probably have one third of the people. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of visitors. Usually during the holidays, uh, it's busy, like beyond busy. Right. And, and now it's, yeah, there's nobody that is coming here. And I understand, you know, it's like, it's scary and everything that is happening. I'm not telling people to, to travel. I'm actually, yeah, it's fine, but it is. It, and then a lot of people move out, you know, the rent is really expensive in New York city. And so I understand if, if you're working from home and you're in a little tiny apartment, there's no point of staying in the city. So a lot of people move, move back home or just mm-hmm. Somewhere that they can pay less rent. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I I have to believe that I think at some point they'll be back, or what people will. I mean, it's New York City, and and in the meantime, people like you and your boyfriend, you guys can, and your friends who are there. My goodness, you got that. You have the run of the city. It's all yours. <laughs> how nice I mean, is, how cool I, is that? I know. I, I, the beginning of the pandemic in March and April and those months, I remember like nobody was going out and we're just yeah. driving. We do have a car here. Um, and so we would drive and it was, uh-huh. it was like kind of, tr- kind of creepy, but at the same time, like pretty awesome. It was like between that, <laughs> that feeling, you know, like, wow, we're never going to see New York city like this, like empty. Right? Like yeah. Wow. It was well, pretty cool. Is- what an experience. We are actually about out of time. I just got the two minute left warding. It's been just an absolute delight. Uh, thank you so much for agreeing to join me on Wonder Around the World. And I'm glad we had a chance to reconnect and let's be sure to stay in touch and keep me in the loop about your your social media for, for Spanish speakers. I think that sounds pretty exciting. So definitely keep me in the loop on that. I for sure, I'm sure uh, yeah, I, I will definitely for sure do that. Again, thank you so much for the opportunity and for this opportunity. And yeah, have a great day. Oh, you too. You take care. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Everyone out there, for now our time is up. I'm so glad you joined us. This is Deborah DePietro. And I hope you've enjoyed your time with me wandering around the world. Perhaps you've been reminded about something wonderful in your own backyard learned something about a faraway place, or got some ideas for future trips. 
here's to keeping wonder alive, moving forward and connecting with our global neighbors. See you next time. Okay, thank you.